Alright. Um, we need a fire piston for somebody who's going to be using it this weekend. They can't get a fire going. I've not even tried to get a fire going. I get the fire piston to work, but uh, I haven't tried to build a fire. So here's the scenario. I've shaved up uh, some wood shavings. This is my trusty Bear Grylls knife. I have what he's going to use to start the fire, which is a cotton ball impregnated with uh, Vaseline. I have the original piston, fire piston that, uh, that I created, and my original char cloth. So let's go ahead and give this a go and see what happens. A little piece of char cloth in there. I got a much more fine tinder in my bird's nest. We're going to give that a try. It doesn't have to work the first time, it just has to work. So here we go. Oh, that didn't work at all. So there's the ember. Look, I get the heat that I want, but then the cotton is blocking it from getting to the tinder. Try it again. It's really hot and smoking like crazy. I'm sure you can see that. But we don't have hot dogs cooking yet. So we're going to try it one more time. That's flame. Whew. All right, so I spread the cotton ball out. I didn't actually put the tinder on the cotton ball. I had it around it so the cotton was there to provide heat. I put a piece of char cloth in, in the middle of that. So imagine the cotton ball in a, in a donut shape with a piece of char cloth inside there. And then inside that I had, let's move my hands. Inside that I had, um, piece of char cloth, that's where I put the ember, um, rolled that up so that every, all the heat was being captured by the tinder, and there you have it. So it might not have happened on the first try, but it's doable.